We're going to look at converting between improper fractions and mixed numbers. Here I have a number line with the numbers 1, 2 and 3 on it and I also have three whole rectangles. I'm interested in looking at thirds so I'm going to cut everything up into thirds and what I want to do is show seven thirds. Well all I need for that is seven of the thirds so I'm going to go one third, two thirds, three thirds. Note three thirds is the same as one whole. Then four thirds, five thirds, six thirds and seven thirds. Now if I want to take that seven thirds and I want to write it as a mixed number which means as a whole number with a fraction what I really want to ask myself is how many holes, whole one unit pieces are there in seven thirds? So I need to note that three third pieces makes up one whole. So if I've got seven thirds, I need to know how many groups of three of them are there in seven. So what I need to do is say seven divided by three and what I get for the answer for that is I get it's two with one remaining, which is just that little extra one third piece. If I want to go the other way and I start at two and one third and I want to get back and say how many thirds are there in total, well that's easy. What I need to notice is that for every one I have three one third pieces. So in two I have two, lot, two times three one third pieces. So I then also have the extra little one third step so I need to add on one more. And so in total I get seven thirds. So two and one third to work out what that is as an improper fraction I need to say two times three which is how many thirds there are in two holes and then I need to add on the extra one third and that gives me seven thirds. I want you to try these two for yourself. Pause the video and try now. Okay hopefully you got these answers. Uh, to get three and two fifths into an improper fraction you say three times five to get the number of fifths in three holes and then you add on two so you get 17 fifths. To do 23 over 4 into a mixed number, you say 23 divided by 4 gives you 5, remainder 3, so it's 5 and 3 quarters. The last thing I want you to just have a quick look at are these three numbers here. 6 sevenths is a proper fraction because 6 is smaller than 7 and it is less than 1. And 3 sevenths, for example, where 3 is smaller than 7 will also be less than 1. 7 sevenths is 1. And 8 sevenths, the improper fraction where your numerator is bigger than your denominator, is bigger than 1. Similarly, 15 sevenths or anywhere where your numerator is bigger than your denominator.